So the model matching, what this will do, lads, uh, it gives you the option to replace the default Bonanza or default airliner uh, in your sim. Now, this is how it works. You can only replace these other uh, models with what you currently have installed. Does that make sense? So if you don't have, you know, a MiG-29 and Johnny is flying the MiG-29, well, you won't see it as a MiG-29. However, you could turn it into an F-18, for example. You know what I mean? Something that's already in the sim. So when you download uh, the freeware uh, program, it's available over on flightsim.to. It comes with a 72-page manual. Now, here's the beauty of it. You don't need to read past the sixth page because there's an easy mode and then you have the advanced mode. So a massive shout out to the developer of this because he's explained it in absolute detail. Well, what is multiplayer matching? How to add source aircraft? What is the advanced mode? Tips and tricks and also the acknowledgements, right? So what it is, he's broken it down into source aircraft. These are aircraft that aren't uh, installed. Uh, bargain, thank you very much indeed for 20 months, man. Cheers. Very kind of you. Um, so source aircraft are aircraft that you don't have installed. And then you have target aircraft. They're the aircraft you do have installed. So just to kind of put some sort of, you know, layman's terms to this. A source airplane is what the other person is flying. A target airplane is the... That's where you want to target this program. You're, you're targeting your folder. Does that make sense? Okay. So, eliminate or reduce the number of multiplayer generic aircraft you'll see inside the game. So it says, look, how does the sim actually do model matching? And they explain things, how it works. Um, and then how does this program work? It explains how it works. So, for example, what they have, but you don't have installed. So let's say, for example, it's the Parallel 42 Kit Fox. And let's say that, you know, Johnny is flying that. You don't have it. So Johnny appears as the generic bonanza as a tail dragger on your screen. What this program will do, you can say, listen, I don't have the Parallel 42 Kit Fox. So see, Johnny, turn him into a beaver, please. So at least you're getting the model matching closer to what it should be. All right. Here's another one. Uh, let's say, for example, you have the Parallel 42 uh, Kit Fox, but you don't have a livery that Johnny is flying on his Parallel 42 Kit Fox. Well, the sim will load him up as a bonanza. In this case, the program will say, no, no, listen, any other Kit Foxes that are loaded in, I don't care about the liveries, I just want to see a Kit Fox. You can tell it, load in a friggin' Kit Fox. I don't care about the liveries. This is a huge step forward for when it comes to model matching. All right. Then there's a couple of other uh, issues. So as, as, as good as this program works, it, it'll, it can only cover about 90% of the issues because, well, there are some things beyond the remit of this program. For example, it could be the server connectivity. It could be your internet connection. It could be the ICAO uh, designator that the aircraft designer has put on the aircraft. And there's other a handful of other things that may or may not work. So it has a getting started, but I can show you all this now. You download, you unzip, and you launch a program called M3. And you're going to be met with this page here, right? And how we navigate, you'll see that we have source aircraft, and then you'll have a button over here that says target aircraft. Now, you mustn't do this with the sim running, and I'll explain why. But anyway, by default, the source aircraft, i.e. the airplanes you don't have, there is a massive list here. And the developer constantly updates this to add in all the new aircraft. There are many, many, many aircraft. There's 300 different ones, for example. Right? So, for example, uh, the Whitaker MW6 Ultralight. I mean, who has that? I don't know. Uh, or the Vans or V7. You know, who, who doesn't have that? So on and so forth. So what I've done in here... I've selected a couple of aircraft that I know I don't have installed. I've, I've every aircraft for the sim, but I don't install all of them because, well, some of them I'm, I'm not a fan of and I just won't ever use. You know what I mean? So, I've done one here, for example. The Sonex Subsonex, which is a single engine, uh, a JSX, and uh, it, it's the Sonex JSX2. I don't have that, right? So, I'm going to say matching enabled. I'm going to say yes. And then it's going to say, well, what do you want me to target that aircraft as? So this is going to look at all the aircraft I have, or at the very least, it'll point you towards the default aircraft already in the simulator. You can add your own models to it. 
So, for example, if you have the Flying Iron Spitfire, for example, well, you can actually tell this software, I only want to see Spitfires on my stream tonight. Nothing else. You can load in with a helicopter. You can load in with a friggin' Boeing. It doesn't matter. If you set this up right, it will only display Spitfires for you. This is really, really handy. Anyway, all you do is select the target aircraft and you have your little checkbox. When all of that is done and you're happy, there's a button over here that says generate package. Yeah, advanced mode opens up the target aircraft and you can add target aircraft from here. Don't worry about the advanced mode. Keep it simple. You generate the package and say, are you sure you're going to override it? You say, yes, generate the package. When you generate the package, go back into the folder uh, where you've downloaded this program. And then here it's over here. And when you open up where the uh, where the folder is, there's a there's a folder inside this directory called output output open the output folder and here's a, a new folder that says zmmm or multiplayer model matching and this is the folder you want to copy into your community folder so you right click you copy and then you paste it into your community folder if you go into the folder to see what's there look at the sim objects airplanes these are the ones that are automatically going to be substituted. So the Sukhoi, the RV-7, the Su-57, the B-25 Mitchell, you know, the Kamikaze uh, Zero, the, um, does the Freeware Messerschmitt, so on and so on and so on. You can do all of this, right? Workstuff folder, sure, Murph. <laughs> Booms, you saw that, huh? <laughs> all right, huh? brilliant. But anyway, you get the idea, right? So these are all the aircraft replacements that I want in my community folder. You drop them into community folder, you start the simulator. And then when Microsoft Flight Sim detects there's someone flying in that, you know, zero, the A50, A65 zero, it's going to say, ah, I'm being told to load that in as a Spitfire. Okay, boom, your man becomes a Spitfire. That's this bit of program. That's what it does. It's genius. It doesn't take up any sort of computing power whatsoever. It doesn't affect your frame rates. It's genius.